Hi folks, I'm back, or at least I will be very soon. I've had a fantastic break over the summer, getting outside in what turned out to be the best British summer for about 20 years. I had loads of fun time with the family and just away from the computer. But I have missed gaming and I'm looking forward to getting back to it and making some excellent videos and seeing you guys live on the stream. So, I thought I'd make a bit of a video just to give you an intro into what I've got planned over the coming months, the games I'm going to play and where I'm going to put them as well, because I've got some little changes coming. So let's take a look at uh, what I'm going to be playing real soon. So I haven't decided on the order I'm going to play these yet, but one of the games that I've been promising for a long time is an Italy Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. And this is the perfect time because they've just released the By Blood Alone expansion, which changes a lot in the Italian focus trees. It adds a lot of new stuff to the game as an aircraft designer. There's quite a few changes to get my head around, some of which I need to I need to really learn, although I have had a sneak preview of this already and played a bit of it before it got released, which is quite lucky. But I'm looking forward to that, so that's going to be a historical Italian playthrough. If you like your, your deep strategy games, then Hearts of Iron 4 is for you. And I've got another deep strategy game that I'm going to talk about in just a minute too. So I've also just picked up the new Monkey Island game. I think it's Return to Monkey Island. I haven't played one of these since a long time ago but I loved the original back in the 90s it's one of my probably favorite games of, of all time I think or at least I've got the fondest memories of it different art style in this one but the game seems to have been quite positively received we'll have to see but I'm really looking forward to streaming this one and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to it too okay hands up who likes Civ 6 yeah it didn't really do it for me I've got to be honest I was much more of a fan of Civs 1 and 2 and 4 in particular which I still play today uh, with my mates this game, however, is Old World, and by request, it will be appearing on the channel. It's very much like Civ 6, except one, it is set only in the ancient world. Here you can see I've been having a bit of a test game as Rome, just to try and learn some of the mechanics. Uh, but it's set in the ancient world, as they knew it then, and in particular in the, the Middle East, Babylon, the Hittites, Sumeria, those civilizations, those are the ones that are really focused on and it only takes place in the ancient era. So there's no, no progressing to tanks and guns and planes in this. And where it differs, again, from Civ VI is that there's a lot more focus on family members and story and dynasty, I guess, in this as well. Otherwise, it feels like it plays very similar. And I wasn't a huge fan of the way Civ VI played, so will I get on with this one? I don't know. It seems pretty good if you like that sort of thing. We'll have, to, uh, we'll have to put it to the test and find out. But it will be coming to the stream soon by popular request from some of you guys. Okay, moving on, but sticking with strategy. This is Terror Invicta that um, they kindly sent me a copy of to, to stream. It's another deep strategy game. It's kind of like XCOM meets, I don't know, some, some deep world political grand strategy thing. Basically, humans have encountered aliens for the first time. They're coming to the solar system. But the Earth is kind of disjointed and uh, everyone's sort of arguing with each other, pretty much as it is today. Uh, so you've got to, I think, unify humankind under one banner and then decide how you're going to deal with the aliens. It's a very deep strategy game from what I've seen. I don't think there's much in the way of combat like there is in XCOM. It, it's, it's, it's just pure number crunching. <laughs> it looks really complicated. And I'm going to have to get my head around this before I even try to stream it. But it looks like it could be interesting. I know Cringe has been streaming this. Seems to be enjoying it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. We'll give it a go, though. So who's seen or played any of Grounded yet? This is a multiplayer co-op survival game. Kind of lighthearted. It's basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids survival mode. It looks kind of fun. And I'm going to get the band back together, maybe with... TC Freer, Aimless, and the voice of Todd. You remember those guys from the Celasta playthrough up on the channel? We had a lot of fun playing that. So we're looking for another four-player co-op game that we can play. This is on the list, and we might be featuring this one. If not this, we're going to find something else that we can play. We're busy guys with busy schedules, so it's hard getting everyone together at the same time to play something. But if you've got any suggestions of which games you'd like to see the four of us play, then do drop them down in the comments. Baldur's Gate 3 is definitely on the list for that, but that's not due out for full release until next year. So a little bit of time to wait. There's also Celasta, Crown of the Majesty, have got a new expansion coming with some new classes. Would you like to see us play that again, the four of us, with the new classes? Again, let me know in the comments or let me know on stream when you see us there. Also out later this month is Plague Tale 2. Do you remember the first game that I streamed quite a while ago? 
I really enjoyed it. It's kind of a different take on like an adventure and stealth game. The second one seems to have added a lot of lethality into the mix. It looks pretty good. And I'm looking forward to playing this one too. A lot of different mechanics to what you'd normally see in these sort of games. So the first game was a real breath of fresh air with kind of a creepy story. I enjoyed it though. Definitely worth playing. Looking forward to the second one. So when that comes out, expect a stream of that too. Okay, I mentioned earlier when we were talking about Hearts of Iron that I had another strategy game lined up, and this is it. This is Grand Tactician Civil War. This is another deep strategy game, very similar to Hearts of Iron 4 in that you control the governments, the economies, uh, the industry, moving the armies around on the map, the policies, all that sort of stuff. But it differs in that you also get to control the troops in battle, total war style. It's a pretty good game, it's a work in progress, it needs some polish. It is fully released, but the developer, and it's a small team on this one, constantly adding improvements to it, and I really like it. However, I'm not going to stream this one. It's the kind of game that there's a lot of long pauses in waiting for something to happen as you move things around the map. So I'm probably just going to upload this as a playthrough on YouTube, done off stream, edit out all the long pauses and breaks, and just get to the interesting stuff. I think it's cool, but I mean, I like the Civil War anyway. It's an interesting era, and I love my strategy games. Again, let me know what you think, if this is something that would interest you or not. Last but certainly not least, Skyrim. Now, I have never fully played through Skyrim. Much to my disappointment, really. I've just never put the time aside to do it. I've played bits of it and enjoyed it, and then just got distracted with other stuff. This has been around a long time now. But the, they keep releasing more versions of it. This is the 10 year anniversary version of it. I just picked up from GOG.com. So I'm going to be giving this a full playthrough. Probably not all in one go. Probably something to, to visit every now and again through different streams while we break it up with other games to get a bit of variety onto the channels. But I want to play it. I, I, I like it. The bits I've played, I've really enjoyed. And uh, we'll see where we get with that. I know you guys must surely like Skyrim, right? And so that pretty much sums up the list of games I've got planned to go live with at the earliest opportunity. Plus Grand Tactician as well, which we'll be doing non-live and just uploading to YouTube. So hopefully there's something in there for everyone that you're looking forward to. There's some more cool looking games coming out over the next few months. Dark Tide being one of them and a possible co-op four player thing. I think it's four player. I hope it's four player. That's one maybe for me and the gang to look at as well. So loads of stuff to, uh, to keep us all entertained with, I hope. So let me know what you think. Which games are you looking forward to the most? And which other ones have I missed that you would like to see me play over the coming months? Let me know in the comments. Let me know on stream when you see us. Oh, speaking of that, we might be trying a little bit of a streaming experiment on YouTube throughout October, but there's more details to come on that. And I'm certainly not giving up on Twitch and I'll be there as well. So anyway, lots to see and do and play. I'll catch you live or I'll see you in the comments on this channel real soon. Thanks, folks. And we'll catch you on the next one.